Is independence now inevitable in Turkey? The election wasn't about independence. I made that clear consistently and repeatedly during the election. I said to people in Scotland that if they voted for us in this election, I wouldn't take that as an endorsement of independence. I'm not going to go back on that. This election was about making Scotland's voice heard, and the people of Scotland have certainly chosen to make their voice heard loudly. And First Minister, how do you, you work with uh, the Conservatives? Because obviously David Cameron will now be the Prime Minister, and you... Well, our, jo our job is to stand up for Scotland against the Conservatives. I didn't want to see a Conservative government. Labour were unable to defeat the Conservatives in England. Uh, I think that makes it all the more important that we do have a strong team of SNP MPs to fight Scotland's corner and to stand up for Scotland, and that's what we plan you to do. you try and wreck the process in Westminster, though? That was uh, Nicola Sturgeon there, the first uh, minister who's just leaving her home here on the outskirts of Glasgow, making her way back into, into the centre of the city. It has been a, an incredible night for the SNP here as we just move out the way to let uh, First Minister's car of her drive. She has gained some 56 seats so far out of potentially 59 seats. The swing has been huge, almost 40% uh, in some seats here uh, in Scotland. So uh, Scotland's voice is certainly going to be heard uh, in Westminster, but just how will it be received?